So this is a little sequence to help with um, really bad period pain, or if you're just feeling congested and grotty and pain is making you feel like you're very tense. Um, I'm gonna get you to sit first of all and open your legs up wide. It's nice to have something underneath your bottom. So a pillow, a bolster, um, something just to lift your sitting bones up so you don't slouch into your lower back. So first of all, taking your legs as wide as they can comfortably go to open up the inner thigh muscles that go right into the pelvic floor. Give your feet a little bit of a massage. And then just massage into your jaw. So you're grabbing your fingertips onto the uh, masseture muscles around the lower jaw and just massaging down. Good. So when we soften the jaw and when we use low vibrational sounding, so a buzzy deep breath, or just opening our mouths and going, ha. Ah, what we're doing is we're stimulating the pituitary glands. And we're also sending sort of vibrations through the water content of our body. So it's deeply relaxing. And the longer we make that sound out, the more we stimulate the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve is what takes us into that rest and digest, that parasympathetic nervous system, as opposed to fright and flight and tension, especially if we are experiencing discomfort. So we can consciously and purposefully override that automatic nervous system and take ourselves into a more relaxed healing state simply with our breathing and by adding in a little bit of low vibrational sound on our exhalation. So when you breathe, it's nice to create a bit of a circular movement with your breath. From your tailbone as you inhale, it feels like you're pulling the inhale right up through your spine. And this just helps us lengthen the spine and create a bit of space between the rib cage and the pelvis. When we're all congested, we tend to hunch. When we inhale and lengthen the spine, we tend to open up and this can help to alleviate congestion and pain. So breathing in and then as you exhale, let the breath diffuse through your body. It's like it's rolling down, massaging you inside. Release the eye muscles, release the cheeks, release the jaw, release the shoulders. So the shoulder area is where we, we create hypertension, first of all, the first place in the body. Um, often when we don't even realize it, but if we exhale and we consciously drop our shoulders down, it's going to help for the rest of the body to start relaxing. And then exhale and imagine the breath is just flowing over the uterus like a fountain relaxing the uterus. I like to imagine a chocolate fountain. So the inhale comes up, the exhale softens around the cheeks and the shoulders, the inhale comes up, the exhale rolls over the uterus, massaging into the pelvis and out. So it's a really nice kind of double layered chocolate fountain flow or clear water that might be a better visualization for you, but we just, continually, continually, continually um, using visualization with the breath. Now, interlace your hands, bring your toes back and start to circle your hands around. Keep using that long, smooth breath and see if you can get into a bit of a rhythm doing the circling. This massages the uterus, so it's a profoundly um, nourishing movement to do if you're feeling a bit crampy and sore. And I'm going to get you to start, so I'll do this in the other direction now, I'm going to get you to start vocal toning out. So we'll start with a buzzy B breath, or just a hum out. As you progress with this, you'll find that you're able to extend your exhalation more and more as time goes by and as your lungs become uh, like any other muscle they become stronger beautiful okay so the next thing we're do, going to do is just come on to um, all fours and we need to use a bolster or some firm pillows here so I'm going to get you just to tuck your prop on your chest one hand on top of the other, forehead on the hands. 
And then start to let your knees drop out to the side, toes towards each other like a frog. And we're letting the belly be really relaxed and soft, uh, taking the sitting bones away from each other to get a lovely big opening stretch into the pelvic floor area. And then we're on a slight slope here. So head down below the heart, help us up. It's gonna help us with our exhalations. So we just exhale and slide the knees a little bit further apart. Breathe in into the back of your lungs. So spread the breath into the back of the lungs. And then exhale, soften here. See if you can do your humming breath out in this position as well. Slowly letting those knees slide inch by inch, a millimeter by millimeter apart. You imagine your humming breath is going right down into the uterus, around the ovaries, massaging, flowing, fresh energy. Maybe even try just sighing out. So mouth open, lower jaw relaxed. Ah. So we want to go towards feelings of pain, towards the feelings of pain with the sound. The more intense the pain, the lower and louder the vocal tone. Ah. Knees widening, lower belly softening, allowing the uterus just to tilt a little bit out of the pelvis. Ah. That's a nice one to do for as long as you need to. I'm going to get you just to bring the knees a little bit closer here. Yeah. Stretch out, roll the shoulders away from your ears, stretch out into an extended child pose. So this too just can be incredibly comforting on the central nervous system. If it feels like you just need to restore more, then turn this into restorative by turning your head to one side, having your prop, underneath your boobs and higher, so your belly's nice and relaxed. You might need to put another pillow underneath your bottom between your um, heels and your bottom. And then just hug your bolster, turn the head to one side. Don't forget to swap your head so that your um, neck doesn't get too constricted. Breathe into the back of your lungs and just sigh the breath out here. Uh... Low vibrational tone is really profoundly relaxing on the body. Or maybe the buzzy bee breath. Good. And the other thing to do is rocking. So I'm going to put my forearms on my bolster here, but you could just put your hands on the ground as if you're doing cat and hold. Cat, cat, and cow. So we're just rocking back and forward. So now the uterus is tilting slightly out of the pelvis. The weight of the uterus is off the spine. The organs can just kind of rearrange themselves. If everything's become a bit inflamed and you're feeling congested and very sore. So rocking back and forward. Again, really helpful to do this with sound, especially if there's intense pain moving towards the sound, as it, towards the pain with your sound. Ha, breathing in. Ha, going towards the pelvis, towards the sound, towards the pain. Ha, ha. And maybe using a mantra with this, a mantra like lighter, or open, soothing, calm, saying words that feel like a balm for you. And then in this sort of position, the other thing to do is just massaging the hips around, hula hooping the hips, 
just a lovely way to soften all of the muscles that go into the pelvis. And again, it's a massaging um, effect on the uterus to have this kind of swirling hip action going on. Wonderful. And the last thing I wanted to show you is just legs up the wall pose. Really nice to have a, um, a prop to turn it all into, a, it sort of turns it into a bit of a waterfall. Your body turns it into a waterfall, pouring down the wall. Have a blanket for your head as well. So hip against the wall, like so. You roll your back onto the ground and take your legs up the wall like that. And then you take your prop, feet into the wall, you push your bottom up and you bring the prop right underneath your pelvis. So it feels like your pelvis is supported by a shelf. And then you might need something underneath your head, maybe not, just see how that feels. Uh, maybe I will, yeah. Okay, so shoulders away from the ears. Now, this is great because you can either bring the knees wide, do a bit more opening up into the inner thighs, maybe even rubbing those inner thighs. But what we're doing is we're tilting the organs out of the pelvic bowl. So it releases the pelvic floor. It can just be really, really nice to feel this whole area opening up. You can rub your belly. You can have a hot pack over your belly. You can even get a partner to help you with some um, polarity therapy. So placing one hand underneath, and I'm going to show you this in another position, but one hand underneath your uh, lower back on the other side of where the uterus is, one hand on your belly and just kind of holding both sides of the body and just waiting until you feel heat building up between the two hands. It's almost like you do a little rocking action like this. Build that heat up, that energy up, and it can be really soothing. So, also just letting the legs be high so that the weight of the legs drops down into the pelvis. It's profoundly relaxing to have your pelvis weighted. So really nice, the weighting, draping sensation of the legs. Lovely to have a heat pack over your lower belly. Head is lower than heart height slightly. So that's helping us to go into that long exhalation a little pause at the end of the exhalation, really stimulating that rest and digest the parasympathetic nervous system. So hands over here resting, or maybe up above the head if that feels nice. And the idea is just to slow the breathing down, rest and digest. Let the whole pelvic area feel very supported. I'm just letting all the weight drop out of that pelvic bowl. Those organs, just let them have a little shift around. So this is for Vipari de Karani, legs up the wall pose. Mm. Slide your knees down when you're ready. So you can stay there for 10, 15 minutes. It's a really nice historical pose. The very last one is Sukta Balakanasana. So um, you need quite a few props for this. I'm just going to get a few bolsters in order to show you this one. You can use lots of pillows. So we want to put a firm pillow or a good bolster for our spine. And then we want to have something underneath our knees in order for our knees to be able to display out to the side. So we basically put our bottom right onto the edge of the pillows. We stack them so they're on a slope. You could also use the edge of a couch and just put some pillows against the edge of a couch. Knees drop out to the side. So we want to be able to open up the psoas muscles and the lower belly area. So knees drop out to the side. You just want to prop your thighs and your knees. And then lie yourself back, and it might take a few goes to make sure you're really comfortable. So absolutely use as many props as you need to, to make yourself comfortable. I'm going to put an extra blanket underneath my head. We do want our head to be just a slight bit higher than the heart. So we don't want to be sort of in a situation where the head is dropping back 
and the chin is up. You want the chin tucking in towards the neck. That just helps with that ujjayi breathing. Gets the diaphragm working harder, lets more oxygen flow around the body. It's quite nice if you've got extra pillows to put something underneath your forearms so they're not kind of not knowing where to go. You want them to feel really supported. Again, lovely position to have a weak bag over your lower belly and to do a guided meditation in this position. So that you can focus on your breathing, you can focus on the sensations of your breathing through your body. And it's this position that can be really helpful to have somebody else doing acupressure on you or having somebody kneel beside you and put one hand onto this lower belly area and then one hand onto the lower back. So it's hard to do it yourself. But basically, on either side of your, um, your uterus. And then just, they basically hold their hands there until you start to feel a heat going between your hands. So it's like that, like that. And they just do tiny little bit of movement with their hands. It's almost like they're, they're kind of thinking that they're sending the energy between their hands. This is sort of Reiki, basically. And it's called polarity therapy and it just can be really soothing to feel a build up of heat soothing healing heat between somebody else's hands and they need to do it for about 10 minutes so they need to make sure that they're sitting comfortably to do this and you basically focus on your breathing and relaxing the jaw remember the jaw and the pelvic floor are deeply fashionably connected so this whole area is one big long line of fascia and we want to consciously relax around the face and the jaw in order for this whole area just to, to, to start to settle and become less inflamed. So a really nice position just to do some relaxing and to do some integrating, some calming. I hope you enjoy.